Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to JavaScript Marathon. Now in yesterday's live stream, we discussed a bit about the three algorithms, the three hidden algorithms in the JavaScript world itself. And yes, I do understand, I tried to explain over explained it and got confused in between explaining the world. So this is my attempt too of explaining these three algorithms better. Also, I will walk you through with the reference guide as well as the documentation which I referred to understand these algorithm on the very first go. So I'll share you that documentation so that in case you want to study, you can go ahead and study it on your own. So JavaScript conversion is a bit of confusing topic. How does JavaScript convert numbers into string or strings into numbers or maybe arrays into numbers, something like that. And a lot of people try to behave or try to assume it uh, that, hey, if the first or the first article or the first point is numbers and it is being added with a string, then this is going to happen. Or if the first uh, character is a string and then the second is number, this is going to happen. No, this is not how JavaScript works. JavaScript tried to assume a lot of things on your behalf, but it's not like it's doing everything on its own brain. There is a written specification for that and that's always how JavaScript behaves. So let me walk you through with that. First, let me bring you up to the screen so that I can share some of the things where the JavaScript quirkiness or quirky behavior is being uh, there. So first of all, what we're gonna see is that uh, I, I showed this example again, so I'll go, go ahead and do this example again. So let's just say there is uh, nums or let's just say mangoes. So the output of this one is going to be simply, I hope many of you can assume that, that its final output is actually 10 uh, mangoes mangoes there we go okay and nobody nobody should ever deduce the fact that if the first this thing is number and the second one is string that means it's always going to be string this is not true this is not written in the specification you are just assuming thing and that's where you make a lot of mistakes in javascript or you have just memorized the thing please don't do that that is also not good now, in order to contradict this example, if you just go ahead and get an example, uh, something like 7 into 4, or maybe plus, or whatever that is, uh, that's going to give you the same result. So you can go ahead and safely get a multiplication, and that's 28. So this, this means we can conclude that this behavior is not symmetric. This behavior is not consistent, that the first letter should be number, or first element should be number, or second. No, this is not how the specification works on. There is an algorithm that drives all of this. So again, let me walk you through with that. So some of the things that you need to understand that how the values are converted. And one of the value which creates a lot of confusion is actually number. So let's just go ahead and if I just go ahead, try to convert the number and I pass in on a string of three in that. Let's go ahead and wrap this up into a console log so that we can have some of that. So console.log, save that, open up our terminal, uh, clean this up, and we're gonna say node, please run this 06 and hit an lgo.js and we get three. So okay, this is being converted, but what about three X? We try to convert this into number and we still get not a number because it's not a number, it cannot be converted. Things get interesting when you go ahead and try to convert some other things into number. For example, this empty string. Now this empty string, when you try to convert it into number, this becomes zero. Okay, understandable because it's an empty string. But what about when you try to convert numbers an empty array? So empty array, when I go ahead and try to run this, this again gets converted to zero. But if I go ahead and add an element, maybe just a 99, what happens in that case? This gets converted to 99. So you're seeing that sometimes it's giving empty string as zero, sometimes the numbers are there. And what happens if I go ahead and put more numbers into it, let's just say 88. If you don't understand these algorithms, you won't be able to understand that, okay, 99 was getting converted into it, but this 88 is not getting converted into number itself. So what is the algorithm that actually defines this or entirely drive this? So this is actually derived by this algorithm, which is known as how do you convert objects into the primitive value? And there is a specification given by JavaScript that if you want to convert X into Y, how that conversion is going to behave. Is it going to be string first or is it going to be value first? What do I mean by string and value? In order to understand these three algorithms, you need to understand first and foremost two very important things. That how values are converted into string and how values are converted into two value. Because these two methods are very important. The first one is a dot two string, if I can write that. And another one is uh, that two value. Not two value, actually my bad, value of. 
So these are the two methods which entirely drives all of this. Don't worry, I'll walk you through with the documentation as well so that you can understand this. Let's first have a brief example of how to string and to value work. I'm very sure a lot of you knows about it from the last live stream that we went through. But again, you might be knowing them before that also. So let's just say we gave the same example. The color value was in the last example was 14. And we try to convert that into binary color value. So we go ahead and say, hey, binary color value. So that you can do simply by saying uh, color value and put up a dot to string method on that. So let's just say I put up a dot to string method and I pass on a red X, which is like what base base can be uh, base can be binary like two or can be a power of 10, which we use regular numbers. So I'm pretty sure you have studied about them in your computer science class. So we'll be putting up a base of two because that's what binary is. It's a power of two. So yeah, I know I'm pretty sure you know about the red X as well. So this is how the color value goes on. If I go ahead and use a log statement on binary I should copy that and save that this obviously will give me a result that triple one zero is there and again you can change this to anything let's just say you want to convert uh, probably nine into that so that is also completely value valid and valid statement so one zero zero one it will convert it into binary that's the whole idea but this two string method actually fails on a couple of values. For example, let's just say I go ahead and do a console log. I try to give it directly an object and I say that one is going to be something like uh, maybe one. And I go ahead and try to apply a dot two string method on that. This obviously is going to fail. This is supposed to fail because that's what specification says. But hey, Tish, where are those specifications? Let me walk you through with that. So if you go into the ECMAScript, so in case you don't know, ECMAScript, these are the people behind the entire organization of JavaScript. They give you some of the references and recommendation that this is how the implementation of things work. Now, these implementation or these specifications are taken up by the different browsers and different engines, maybe Chrome, maybe V8 engine, maybe Node.js. They take them and they try to recommend or refer this documentation and specification and implement everything based on this. So if you want to convert anything like ordinary values to primitive to boolean or to number there is a specification written up here that if you try to convert undefined into a number what is going to happen it is going to return not a number if you try to return null into that it will give you a plus of zero or just basically saying zero when you try to give it a string string to number then it returns like this and if you give it a symbol it will give you a type error so this is where all of the things are going to have it now, if I go up here that if I want to convert any object, so let's just say, uh, how do we convert to primitive? So pr to primitive, you can see that there is a small example written up here that if you want to convert anything to primitive, we discussed the primitive in the last live stream. I hope you remember that. So how does it happen? ECMAScript says that it will give you a hint here. So notice here, it the le let the hint be number. Now, this is what I call the algorithms. They call them as hint, but they can be algorithm as well. So anytime a number or anything is being given that is being uh, converted into another format by using this hint and this hint, let me walk you through if preferred type. So notice this statement of here, if preferred type is not present, let preferred type be a number. So there are some elements which are being converted based on this preferred type. So notice here, uh, it says if prefer type is not present, let hint be default. Else if prefer type is string, let hint be a string. So I know this is a little bit confusing. So what we can deduce from here that there are a couple of input hints and based on these hints, it either try to convert a value into a string first or a value first. And based on that, if it works, that's fine. And everything goes through the specification. Let me walk you through with a couple of more, which is going to be important for you. Here it is. It says ordinary to primitive. So the abstract operation of ordinary to primitive takes an object and a hint. So hint is given to you and these hints I'm calling them as an algorithm. It is a string or a number. So these algorithms are known as a hint string or hint number and it returns either a normal completion or the language blah blah stuff. You don't need to worry about them. The next important thing you need to worry about is if hint is string then let name method be to string and then value of. So what it's saying is, let me walk you through that if the algorithm name is prefer string or just the string hint, then what's going to happen, then it's going to say that I'll first try to run this 
entire thing with to string and then I'll try to convert that into value of. But if the hint is uh, another one which is prefer number then I'll try to run it through first with the value of and then I'll try to convert that into to string. So same thing happened with that. Since number is a primitive type and when I try to convert this number up here that empty and when this empty string was converted into a string it is obviously already a string the hint passed along with this was string so when you convert empty string into value of it gives you a zero that worked same thing happened here as well when I was running it through this algorithm it says hey first I need to convert it into a string because with a number when you pass it on array already there is a method which tries to convert into two string what is the two string of this this is going to be 99 and when you convert it to a value of it gets 99. So again don't get confused there are two algorithms up here prefer string and prefer number and based on what object you're using either array or an object itself one or the other algorithm works onto that and in case you want to study more about it there's all the values given up here that when you try to convert boolean there's a chart defined up here that when you pass it on to convert when you try to convert boolean to undefined what should be the result when you try to convert null what should be the result so there is nothing which is coming out of the magic javascript is not behaving weird it is following the rules and specification that are given to him yes that's a different statement that not a lot of people try to understand these rules and algorithm now coming back on to the short of this again just remember that some of these values gets a hint of preferred string some of the values like arrays or string or object they follow the hint of preferred number so first try to convert them into number or then try to convert that giving you one of the more example of that uh, on these algorithms again so let's just go ahead and try to store date that's why I tried to store a date last time as well when I say new date and I go ahead and pass on any date, maybe three comma four, whatever that date is. What is going to happen when I try to convert this date into a string? Now we have no idea about that, that what's going to happen. I'm just going to pass it on and try to convert that into two string. Now does this date make sense when we convert that into a string? Yes, it makes a little bit of the sense, but in the case of databases, when you try to do this, it doesn't make sense because dates are not stored in this way. So dates are first being passed on into two string and whatever the value you are holding, then it's being converted. So let me walk you through with that. Let me remove this one, this one, this one. And let's try to hold this. Um, let's call it as let date string that is going to be new value so we know what value this is going to store now but let's also convert that into log so I'm saying date string and let's convert that to value of there we go so what should be the result of this one the result is string still the same we're not getting anything changed because now this date string doesn't make any sense when you want to convert into value of so make sure you always remember that it's not uh, specified that it's always going to work. It always works through the specification. But giving you a bit more of an example, if I go ahead and comment this line, and if I go ahead and change this new date directly, instead of storing the reference, I go ahead and print this out. This gets converted into the number itself because this is what getting stored in the values. But if you already make that as a string, which is not mutable, if you try to convert that into a value, that value, hold those Mondays and all of that, that doesn't make sense to be converted into value. So JavaScript will not convert it because that's what is written in the specification itself. So again, I know this is a very, very advanced topic because this eventually leads you towards the goal of metaprogramming. Yes, you can change some of the specification and rules and you can also change that how your classes should behave. You want that there should be more of consistency, what you think as a consistency and you think that whenever I try to convert this number into 99, it should convert it into 99, but empty strings should also be converted to zero, something like that. These specification, you can mention that into metaprogramming of JavaScript. If you want me to make a separate video on metaprogramming, I can do that. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video. I know this topic is a little bit over the head for most of the people. This is something which is a kind of a video dedicated towards very advanced programmers of JavaScript. But I think 
Having a little bit of knowledge and where to refer the documentation will help you in the longer run. Don't be confused. Don't get stressed out because I have spent years in going through with this documentation to find it out. You are getting it, a glimpse of it on the first go. That is more than enough. Let's catch up in the next video.